Hello and welcome Exiles. Today I want to talk about Mage Blood at Home. The meme where you have, hey, mom says we have this at home. And the thing at home is just, it's the, that thing, but it's not really that thing. It's a worse version. It's something that's a little bit disappointing. But in this, in, in this case, Mage Blood at Home, I'd like to introduce you to is actually about, I want to say 80 to 85% as powerful as Mage Blood. And I'll try to make an argument for that. And you guys can tell me whether or not you disagree. Um, and here's what I'm talking about. This is a micro distillery belt. This is a unique belt base that you get from Heist that basically no one uses, which gives your flasks 20% effect. But it says you can't use the fifth flask slot. So I combined this with the new mod from the Sentinel pool, which is magic utility flasks have 25% increased effect. You can see where I'm going with this. Moral of the story is if you start stacking some flask effect, you can maybe start getting, getting to the point where you compete with Mage Blood. Mage Blood is the scenario where you have a flask like this. You have the enchant that gives 70% effect, and then you have 25% on top of that. So you have four magic flasks that are 100% uptime with about 95% effect of the flask. So how close can we get to that? Well, 20% on the implicit, 25% from magic utility flasks, 10% from alchemist genius. So right there, we're at 55. If you include the 25% effect on your own flasks like I did here, we're all the way at 80%. Then if you go onto the tree and you're grabbing these four nodes here, this node gives you 10%, that's 90% effect. That's basically, you're gonna have the same strength level of flasks pretty much close to a mage blood. Now, there's some obvious downsides with this. We have a, a belt with not as good of affixes as mage blood. Mage blood has better res, it has some life, and you can use a unique flask here so right there we have more investment we are investing into four passives right here and a fifth passive into trader and into a jewel socket so there's higher investment obviously this is not as good as mage blood that's why i'm saying it's 80 percent, 75 percent of the power because you're losing out on that you unique flask you're losing out on hay you have to use trader keystone to have the sustain for that you have to give up a fifth flask slot there is some downsides to this but we can get a large portion of the power. Another downside that I think can still be end, end up being compensated for if we go for, I guess, like another cluster here of flask sustain nodes is you can't really permanently sustain the higher cost flasks. Things like granite, jade, um, quicksilver, these are a bit higher in terms of charge sustain that you need. Right now with the current setup I have, I will basically sustain these flasks for I think I had them running for like close to three to four to five minutes. These will be effectively permanent more or less. But if you start looking at my Quicksilver, which I don't have this set up for a reuse at the end of the flask, I have it set up for use when charges reach full because this will run out relatively quickly given it is a shorter flask that lasts a shorter time and it costs more charges. But the idea is while I'm mapping, I will effectively have all four of these flasks up. And I think that's quite strong. Personally, in my opinion, the strongest magic flasks are the resistance flasks because they come with the less damage taken having something giving you 40 percent less damage taken of basically an element i think is a very strong modifier in my opinion but there's of course quality of life things like a quartz flask where you get phasing and you get some spell suppression stuff like that that starts edging out but the reality is suppression is not going to be a big deal to get because i'm going to be way over capped right i can go invest a lot of my suffixes into things like attributes if I need it, into suppression, stuff like that. And I can decrease the cost of my gear in other places where previously I would need to manage all these resistances and I can just take care of it thanks to the fact I have a belt that gives me most of the power, a large portion of the power of Mage Blood at a fraction of the cost. So this is something I think is really cool to look into. Um, kind of up to you if you want to try to recombinate Magic Flash Utility. For myself, when I was recombinate, recombinating this belt specifically i aimed at grabbing belts that had flask duration flask reduced charges used and flask uh, charges gained basically two of these three mods plus if you can get flask effect on top of it get a belt like that and try to combine it with a micro distillery belt that you use an essence of horror on for the gain alchemist genius mod and moral of the story is you're just trying to get maybe three flasks mods on a micro distillery and then go for a YOLO combine with a belt that has the magic utility flask effect mod. This is just kind of a, we're trying to get a belt that has three to four good flask mods on it together on a micro distillery. Bit of a gamble to create this, but still it's going to be 
a, a, a mere pittance in terms of cost. You're looking at a belt that's going to cost somewhere in the range of like one to five X compared to a belt that's going to cost you straight up, um, you know, a mirror. So that, that's a big difference in cost and it gives you a large portion of the power. So I just want to share this with you guys. I'm really excited to use this for this character I have here and um, excited to have it solve a lot of problems. Being curse immune, being my mana salt, my mana problems are gone. Having free res, having basically a bunch of evasion, stuff like that is really strong in terms of basically the suffixes of these flasks on top of what the flasks do themselves between movement speed and crazy tankiness for elemental damage. I think these are really cool to look into and maybe you guys can give it a try and use it in your build. Anyways, that's Mage Blood at home. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Take care, Exiles.